rebellious children that take counsel, select, select, woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not from me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Well, listen, that's exactly what we're doing, man. We adding sin to sin because we don't understand what's in this Bible. Everybody think they know the Bible. Just ask, just ask anyone what is sin. Ask them. Well, how will we know how to get the Lord on our side if we don't even know what sin is at? You got you to start at step one. You got to be taught what sin is. You got to be taught what is against God. What makes you a perfect man? Christian church want to tell you you can't be perfect. What's the rubric for being perfect, Christian? Huh? Thank you, brother. Grab your flyer. You understand? What's the rubric? If you can't be perfect, what makes a person perfect? That's when, that's when the crickets come in and come into uh, church service. That's when they come into church service and they take a seat right next to you. Because the Christian church don't got the answers for that, man. The Bible said that you can be perfect. Christ said you can be perfect. But when we don't cover ourselves with the Lord's spirit, man, we add sin to sin. So when we look at our lives not getting better, it's because we're trying everything to change it but the truth. Everything to change it. Sisters think that murdering the baby is going to make them get the job. And he got fired on day one. So now you got fired and the baby's gone. Sisters think you get more money. You get held down. You can't go out and party no more. So they murder the baby. We add sin to sin. Brother, we, we think that we got the answer and understand this without the Bible. We ain't got no answers, man. We ain't got no answers. You understand? Keep reading. Now we come. Verse 2, uh -huh. that walk to go down into Egypt. That walk to go down into Egypt. Y'all know what Egypt means, right? You understand? It means bondage, man. That walks to go down into bondage. That's what we do. You understand? The Bible says it's Israel, a homeborn slave. When we, go in, we, when we go in and we look at the conditions and the things that actually plague our communities, man, we have to look at, dang, who are we following? How are these things still going on? We've been voting for 60 years. How are we still, these things still going on? How is there no stop the black crime bill? How is there no stop the Latino hate crime bill? Right. How is there no stop the, the Native American Indian crime bill? Right. There ain't those things passed. But we've been voting for 60 years. You understand? But we ain't get it just yet. We got to step back and see, dang, who is, who is my leader? You're going to find out that we've been trusting in the shadow of Egypt. We've been trusting it into America. America is that is that Sodom and Egypt, man. You understand? That's what America is. Because they're a house of confusion and they're a house of bondage against the blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That's who they are. And we've been trusting in that and we don't see, we stuck in that shadow. We need to take a foot outside of that shadow and see what the truth is, man. And stop believing in the lies. Our lives dangle every second that we are attached to the culture of America, man. You understand? Keep reading. Oh God. And have asked and have not asked at my mouth. You understand? And have not asked at my mouth. We ask the Christian church teaches us to ask for wealth and money and fortune. You understand? But the Christian church don't teach us that to ask the Lord, what should I do? The Christian church don't teach us to, to follow what the Lord says to follow. It's in the Bible, man. It says that if you follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, you'll be above everyone. That's what it says. And it says if you don't, then here you are in 2022. That's, that's, that's it right there. Then here we are in 2022, destroyed. Dying faster than an endangered species, man. A straight dog and an alley cat got a, got a better life than what we got, man. Name another nation that would rather trade shoes with us. They ain't one out there. But when they tell us about our lives, and we want to trust them that they got the answers, somebody make that make sense. They don't understand our shoes. They don't understand our struggles. We got to stop believing when they, when they want to say something about our struggle that they understand. Oh, we've been oppressed too. No, you haven't. Oh, we've been enslaved too. No, you haven't. You didn't lose your mother. You didn't lose your father. You didn't lose your language. You didn't, go, come, come. You didn't, you didn't go into slavery, man. To slavery, man. You didn't go to slavery. You didn't lose your mother and your father. You understand? Your heart don't drop over a color of a red and blue light. Right. You don't have to pick what bill you got to pay this month. Right. Your water don't cut off. Your heat don't cut off. 
You understand? You don't know our struggle, but you want to think, but we want to believe that trusting in the shadow of America and of Egypt is the answer when they don't understand what we go through. They're not a people who even are capable of understanding what we go through. You want to know why? Because they cause it. You understand? Because they cause it. That's what goes on. That's the reality of that life that blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians live. But, but guess what? America understands Ukraine struggle, right? That's why they sent them $40 billion. They send the money, they send billions of dollars over to Israel because they understand the struggle of their people. They get their Asians, Chinatown, in every major city in America. But we built America. Make it make sense. Where's the Negro town? Where's the nigga town? You understand? Those things don't exist. Those things are, it's a clear, a clear depiction as to what this, this devil has against blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. To send $40 billion over to Ukraine this entire time, America, you've been claiming bankrupt. You've been claiming that you ain't got no money. You've been giving out $1,000 stimulus checks. And guess what? Your money ain't the answer either. You being the change is the answer. You understand? You being, you being in chains is absolutely the answer. Because why? You're not a people fit to rule, man. You're not a people fit to understand or have any sort of compassion for the crimes that you cause. For the crimes taking advantage and, to, and, and, and apologizing from the crimes of your forefathers. So, so justice has to be served by Christ. That's what has to happen. Justice absolutely has to be served, man. And that is the changing around, putting things back in the natural order. You understand? Putting things back in the natural order. The Bible says that Esau's world is coming to an end, man. You understand? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of that which follow it. So you can look forward to another black or Latino Native American Indian being your boss, being your CEO, running the business, running the corporations. You can look forward to seeing the names, the gates of black and Latino tribes. Native American Indian tribe. You can look forward to that type of thing, man. You can look forward to a future of work, of nothing but hard labor and work because of what your forefathers did and what you do today to us, to our blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. That's what you can look forward to, man. You can keep going to verse three. Come on, come on. That walk to go down to Egypt uh -huh. and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Uh -huh. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Verse 3. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, man. The strength that we have in America, that is going to be our shame. And we felt every bit of that shame. Because we trusted America to, to treat us right and to give us equal rights. But when our brothers and sisters came off of that bus, after every war that we fought for y'all, what y'all do? Y'all hung us in the uniform, but we trusted y'all. We trusted that we would have equal and fair opportunity, man. We trusted that y'all change and y'all, like you said, you ain't like your forefathers, and y'all ain't hang us, and all that in the bug. We trusted that, and look what you still do to us today. We bring out about what happens to us, and you try to sneak in what happens to y'all. What happens to y'all, y'all take care of business. But y'all also take care of business on us, man. You understand? Read. Come on, come. And the trust, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt is our confusion. But ask Latinos and American Indian, we are confused people in here. We got 50 identities. Black people, your color, your black, which ain't, was not a, it's not a race. Your black, your color, your monkeys, your spics, your African American, your Afro Latino American. You're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. We are confused in this kingdom. We get killed by the murderer and then give our love to the murderer. You understand? We are absolutely confused and that's all, that's because of the Christian church. That's because we have not been taught the truth of the Bible, man. Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, understand something, man. Separate your minds and your choices away from America and what they say, man. They don't know what's right or wrong, man. Up in here in the ICPK, you can learn what God said is right or wrong. You can absolutely learn it today, and you're going to watch and see how it changes your life. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I 
done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance, marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches, we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex, we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this beat punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper a toilet, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Ty Warhol, either call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order